What is going on you guys? This is JPro Gaming with another video. In this video, we're going to break down two pitchers that you see a lot. We're going to break down the 99 overall finest Garrett Cole and the 87 overall Zach Britton, which is obtainable through the Team Affinity program. Uh, the Baltimore Orioles. Those are two pitchers we're going to go over here today. Let's go over these two cards real quick and then we'll jump right into the main part of the video. This Garrett Cole was just recently released. He was a collection reward. You had to collect, uh, I think it was 21. I think you had to collect 21 of the finest cards and you get this card, but this card is very good. He's got 113 stamina, 112 hits per nine and 125 Ks per nine. He's got 92 walks per nine, 70 home runs per nine, and then he's got 113 clutch. He's got 90 control, which is very good. However, using him in game, I feel like sometimes his control is a little bit off. So keep in mind when you are facing him, uh, that control is not, I don't think as good as that number shows. He's also got 97 velocity and 95 break. As you see, he's got a four seamer, a slider, a knuckle curve, a change and a two seamer. There are the miles per hour, very good differential in speed. He's got good control, it says, but like I said, it's it's not as good as that 90 control, I believe, personally. That is the first card. The second card we're going to go over is this 87 overall Zach Britton, who is very tough to hit lefty and lefty matchups. So he has got 108 hits per nine, 87 Ks per nine. Walks per nine is at 68. Home runs per nine is at 93. He's got 116 clutch, so when a player comes in or when he comes in with a runner on second base, he gets an added boost somewhere in his statistical category, uh, giving him the edge. And he's got 80 control, and he's got 99 velocity and 97 break. There are his pitches, sinker, slider, four seam, two seamer. He can touch 97, 98 on the sinker, on the two seamer. He's very tough to hit the way he releases the ball, especially on lefties. Majority of the time when he comes in, he's gonna be facing a lefty just because he is difficult to hit. Hopefully I can give you some insight here on how to attack these pitchers offensively and hopefully take it into your own game. I did do a couple videos before those links will be in the description below. These two pitchers today are Garrett Cole and Zach Britton. Let's get it going. All right, so we have Zach Britton here on the mound. He does have a runner on first base. I wanna go over his pitches, his breaks. I am currently using pitcher for my camera angle and I use analog pitching as you will see here shortly, but I wanna go over his breaks. So I'm just gonna pick a pitch. This is his sinker. His sinker has a lot of downward tilt and it comes in at 97 miles an hour. Sinkers up and in, look for those pitches because the way the ball breaks from his hand is difficult to pick up. And I know as a pitcher, I'm going to be throwing those pitches up high, especially on lefties. Let's go over the slider here real quick. The slider has also has downward break. Working the sinker and slider off of each other is what pitchers like to do. However, I feel like a lot of pitchers lately are just throwing hard, hard, hard. So they're gonna be throwing sinkers and they're gonna be throwing two seamers and four seamers. The slider does have, it almost acts as his changeup. So look for that pitch, usually down in the dirt. Uh, it's usually out of the zone. Usually don't, people don't like to throw that pitch because it does hang in the zone. Four seamer is pretty straight, does have a little tilt to it. For the majority of the time, he's throwing 98 miles an hour and that's pretty straight to hit. And then his last pitch here is the two seamer. This two seamer has very good break on it along with his sinker and it breaks in a different direction. So his sinker goes up and then down and then this two seamer kind of breaks away depending on who's hitting. So if it's the righty, it's breaking away from the righty and it's breaking into the lefty. I'm starting off, I'm sinker up and in majority of the time. I wanna see what a hitter's doing, see if they can read this because at first seeing Zach Britton on the mound, his sinker comes in at 96, as you saw there. It's got some weird break to it. I wanna break down his, his release point here after I throw each pitch once. This slider, it comes in super slow. Like I said, it acts as his changeup and it's got downward tilt and it breaks in. It's got some good break in. Fastball, again, very straight, comes in about 98 miles an hour, boom. That, that came in at 99. And then his two-seamer, we're gonna throw it up and away. This has backward tilt. So to righties, it's gonna break away. To lefties, it's gonna break in. We're gonna try and hit this top corner here. That's a good spot. That's a very good spot right there at 99. His two-seamer can touch 99. Keep that in mind, because so does his four-seamer. All right, so here is Zach Britton's release point. I wanna show you kind of how he pitches out of the stretch. He's gonna bring his leg kick up. He's gonna release his hands. And then, he, so he's gonna hide here, hide, hide, hide. And then when it gets to right here, the ball almost blocks it as a hitter, or his, sorry, his glove almost blocks it as a hitter. And then right there it's shown. So you actually see the ball right here. From here, you wanna pick up the pitch as quick as possible. So you're gonna look in this general direction right here where he releases the ball, which is right there. That's the release of the ball. This is a two seamer. As you will see, I'm gonna release this pitch. I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna show you there's gonna be tail. You see the ball's almost spinning. So that's a two seamer. It's spinning backwards. So it is cutting away from the righty. 
This is the last pitch that I threw. So keep an eye out for that. The spin on the ball is gonna break away from the righties. So if you are batting and you're expecting a two seamer, expect break away. Against lefties, you're gonna expect the break inwards. It's gonna cut inwards. Sinkers and two seamers in on the lefties is very important because that's where people are gonna jam you all day. They will occasionally throw a slider down and away just to keep you honest, but expect a two seamer in, a sinker in, sinkers up in the zone, also two seamers, because those are tough to hit to get your bat up there, especially at 97 to 99, tough to hit. All right, this next pitch is his slider. His slider has downward tilt. I'm gonna try and get a good angle here so you guys can see it. His slider does break down and it breaks down slow. So it comes in at, slider's at 83. So it's a 15 mile an hour difference almost from his two seamer and his cheese. Depending on how you are hitting him is gonna depend on what your opponent does with him. So if you are not hitting his sinker, his two seamer, he's gonna keep him in and face the righty. Usually, uh, Britain usually comes in against the lefties. However, if your opponent recognizes that you can't hit him, you're gonna keep him in depending on the score and the situation. His slider breaks down and in to righties. This is usually a pitch that is to throw off your timing when he is humming two seamers, sinkers, and four seam fastballs. And if you sit fast and let the sliders go, and you if you pick up the slider immediately, I would I would I would always let the slider go. I would try and hit the fast stuff just because majority of the time they're going to be throwing fastballs, sinkers. I would let the slider go. Majority of the time it's going to be down in the dirt or down and in. Um, sometimes when they do hang it, that's when you take advantage. The hanging slider from Zach Burton is very easy to hit. It, it will hang right in the zone, so look for that. He does have a funky windup. There's a lot of moving parts here. As he releases the ball, his legs come. That release point is pretty visible, obviously, as you see there. It's just all the way up until then, he, he hides the ball very well. So the ball's hidden, the ball's hidden, the ball's hidden. The ball's actually still hidden right here because his glove's in front of it. That's when you pick up the ball. That's why he's difficult to hit because he doesn't present the ball the entire time. As a lefty hitter, sinker's gonna be jammed in. Two seamers are gonna be jammed in. Sliders are usually down and away. So look for those to throw off your timing. So that is pretty much Zach Britton, how people will attack you. Like I said, you should majority of the time not face him uh, as a righty, but if your opponent recognizes that you're not hitting him well, he will keep him in there. I've kept him in there quite a bit because he is difficult to pick up. Not everyone can get his timing down. You can be very effective with this card, especially since he's not gonna be in there long. He'll be in there maybe an inning, uh, usually gets an out or two and then gets out of there. But if he's, if he's in there for longer than that, that means that you're not hitting the ball as a hitter. So hopefully you can pick this card up. He is difficult to hit. Hopefully take some of that into your game. Let's go over this Garrett Cole now. All right, here's a little cheat sheet. Uh, if you go to daddyleagues.com, I'm gonna leave this link in the description below. There is a site that basically breaks down MLB The Show players to a T and it's very, very helpful. The first one we're gonna go over here is Zach Britton that we just went over. As you see here, it's gonna break down every single pitch along with the break that is on that pitch and then the control he has with those pitches. His sinker, obviously he has good control with 93. His slider, he does not have good control with it. So that is why I usually stay away from the slider as a pitcher. Keep that in mind. Uh, the four seamer, he does have 78 control and the two seamer has 83. So the sinker and the two seam fastball expect the four seamer and the slider are the least control and they that they don't have the least break but uh the four seamer basically is straight like i said it's got 62 breaks so not much break at all his slider has just as much break as his sinker and it's it's a it's like i said it's it's a timing pitch to throw you off there was not image like this for the 99 garrett cole who i'm gonna go over here shortly majority of the pitchers are on there some of them are not so just a little reference, Daddy Leagues. I'll link it in the description below, just something to help you guys out a little bit. Yeah, let's jump into this Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole is a very good pitcher. His control is suspect. First things first, we're gonna go over his breaks of his pitches. His fastball is actually very straight. Doesn't have much movement on it. His uh, his slider has pretty good movement, but it, it acts more as a cutter because it's coming at like 92, 93 miles an hour. His knuckle curve is slow. It's uh, It does have some downward break across the board when you hang a pitch especially with Garrett Cole, a knuckle curve gets absolutely destroyed. He does that quite a bit, so I personally knuckle curve as much as possible. I throw it sparingly just to show the hitter that I do have it, but if he's not hitting it, then obviously I'll throw it more, but his changeup, 
comes out of his hand like his fastball and then drops straight down. His changeup's actually pretty good. It's coming in at, what does that say, 88 miles an hour. So it's a little bit quicker. Uh, his knuckle curve is the slowest pitch that he does throw. His two-seamer has very good movement on it. His two-seamer has some running action, so it's going to break away from the lefties and into the righties. I love throwing two-seamers on lefties in. Look for that as a hitter. Look for the two-seamer in. It's got good break on it. We're going to break this down a little bit from his perspective. All right, so when Garrett Cole starts up, he starts at, you know, just pretty steady. He's going to rock back. He's going to get the leg kick. He does a good job of hiding the ball. And then, of course, he's going to show it right there. It's going to go behind his head. And then he's going to present everything on the right side of his body. Very easy to pick up his release point, which is good. That's a good start because when you pick up the release point, then you can break down the rest of him. But you only have an instant to react. So... Luckily, he does show the ball on the right side of his body. He's just so overpowering that he can be very dominant. When he releases this ball, shooting out of his hand. I don't know what it is, but this Garrett Cole card, especially facing him, uh, I faced him a lot in their most recent event. I felt like when he threw a fastball out of his hand, it just didn't, I feel like it shot out of his hand. It wasn't smooth. So that's, that's a little glitchy thing with Garrett Cole's release. Um, it's very subtle, but enough to kind of throw you off a little bit. But... When he releases the ball, it's going to be shown completely on the right side of his body. And this is where you need to pick up pitches. When I am hitting against Garrett Cole, I like to take pitches right away. The reason being, he's very hard to pick up. His, his, his balls move very quickly. His two-seamer, I think, is his best pitch, and it's his fifth pitch. He does have a good slider, acts more of a cutter. His knuckle curve is easy to pick up. It does have a lot of hump and break to it. His changeup drops straight down. But I think his two-seamer has a lot of running action on it and his is best pitch. I'm gonna throw a two-seamer in here. Look at this. Look at the backwards break. So it's actually gonna cut back. You can see on that angle right there how much running action this has. So I'm gonna throw this inside and it cuts backwards. So it is, it's hard to pick up. His slider has downward action and it doesn't really break that much. It's more of a cutter because it comes in so hard. Usually sliders uh, to lefties are thrown in. I like to throw the, the, the slider a lot because it is like a cutter for me as a pitcher as a hitter look for that watch for the uh the sliders in on lefties so yeah it breaks it breaks hard that was a 92 mile an hour slider which is a cutter for some people so there's the slider knuckle curve has some hump to it like i said a lot of players don't like throwing this pitch at least me personally i know i do not and talking with a few other players i know they don't like throwing it either because it gets hung very easily especially when you miss i'm gonna throw a, a knuckle curve down here and it's pretty quick. It's got some good break to it. It's got a decent movement on it. Majority of the time, it is going to be low. One thing I want to bring up is I, as a pitcher, I've been doing this lately. And it's been very, very effective. Look for off-speed pitches up on the corners of the zone. For example, a slider. Look for a slider up here. Look for a slider up here. I don't do it often, but as a pitcher, I'm doing that at least a few times a game just to keep the hitter honest. The way the ball breaks, it's going to be a different eye angle for them, and they're not going to be able to pick it up as good. Kind of like Zach Britton, I like to throw the sinkers up because it has weird, awkward movement out of his hand and it's hard to time time the ball up with the PCI to get that contact that you're looking for, which is good squared up. But even good squared up, you usually line out anyway. So two pitches here, the changeup. The changeup is a downward break and it's got, it's got downward tilt and it's got a little tilt. As you see, uh, you can kind of see it. It kind of breaks back away from the lefties. So I'm going to throw this changeup down and in. Look for this pitch down and in as well. It does have a little late break inwards, uh, very subtle, but it's more of a downward tilt and it's slow. It's, it's coming in at, what was that, like 88? I didn't see that pitch. What is that? 88 miles an hour. So 97 to 88, 99 to 88, it's 10 mile an hour difference. It can still fool the hitter. Two seamer, favorite pitch to throw. Look at this backward tilt here. Look at the movement on that pitch out of his release point. It's going to cut away. I like to back it up with a slider away. The reason being because he throws such a hard slider as a pitcher, I like to do that. As a hitter, this is a right-handed hitter. This is actually a perfect example. Look for the two seamers in. I like to throw as a pitcher. I'm, I'm trying to dot this right here, this black line. I'm trying to dot that all day because he has good movement on his two seamer. I think it is his best pitch with the best movement. So I like to throw it up here as well. So look out for that as a two strike pitch or a throwaway pitch. Pitchers are going to throw it up and away out of the zone majority of the time just to get your eye level there. Maybe you'll swing at a hitter's or a pitcher's pitch. Look for the sliders away and the sliders in. You just have to really pick up what your pitcher's trying to do. I'm trying to give you different things to look for from certain pitchers. That's why I'm doing this again, bringing back this video. Garrett Cole, I mean, he's got such good deception on his pitches and he's got good break. If you start sitting fastball, I've hit Garrett Cole pretty hard, especially in the event. 
Um, I picked him up pretty good as I throw a two-seamer there, throw it away. But um, yeah, he is pretty hard to hit because he's overpowering. But if you start recognizing his pitches, the breaks on his pitches, like every single pitcher, you can be successful against him. Garrett Cole against righty hitters. Me personally, look for the two-seamer in, the slider away, the changeup low, and the knuckle curve low. The four-seamer, I usually stay away from the four-seamer because it is pretty straight. I stick to the two-seamer, the slider, and the change, and occasionally mix in the fastball, the four-seam, and the knuckle curve as a pitcher. As a hitter, keep that in mind because I feel like a lot of people have that same mindset. A lot of people like to throw that four-seamer though, so expect a straight fastball as well. All right, you guys, this is gonna end this video here. Hopefully it was kind of helpful for some of you, maybe some new players, maybe some veterans in the game. Maybe it'll give you a different look. Maybe that Daddy League site will help you out. Uh, something to look at, a reference point. If you guys want me to break down a different pitcher or recommend some pitchers for me to break down, I do have another video coming out here, uh, hopefully semi soon, that I'm gonna break down two more pitchers and keep kind of going in this direction, a starter and a reliever, players that you're gonna be seeing a lot. Uh, if you have questions, leave those in the comment section below. Go check out that Daddy League site. It is actually very helpful. It shows all their stats, like I just showed you with that Brit card the breaks on pitches, the control they do have with it. You can also compare pitchers. Uh, it shows the amount of stubs that that pitcher or player is going for at the current moment. So it's very, very helpful if you wanna uh, look into, just basically looking into a player a little bit more than the, the Show Nation, I guess, doesn't do for you if you utilize that site as well. So follow me on all social media. I'm on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. All of those links are always in the description below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video.